Hi, Daria Jackson Leganier here. Today, I am going to pull back the curtains and show you exactly what I do to create really cool, simple, hot images that pop from word swag. So without further ado, there's a picture here of my iPad. I love working for my iPad mini because it's big. And as I get older, okay, I want to take that out. Goodbye. No. Ah, really? I don't want that there. Okay. Thank you. All right. So as I get older, as I was saying, um, I need to see things larger. <laughs> it just makes it a lot easier. So working from my iPad mini is, is a blessing. So the first thing you would do, as you can see, I have word swag, right? I have word swag. I'm t I just tapped it. And, um, in order to get word swag, I want to come out of there. You have to go, if you have a iPad, you have to go to the app store. So you would go to the app store. You would type word swag in the search, which I already did. And because I have it on my on my iPad already, it's going to say open. But on yours, if you don't have it downloaded, it's going to say get, just like all the other um, icons, all the other apps, I should say, that I didn't download. Okay, makes sense? All right, so let's get into the training. So I'm going to find my word swag. Um, for Android users, I believe it's $3.99. At one point, it was free. It's free for um, iPhone users. So sometimes that happens. Apps that, that the Apple puts out, you have to pay for them in Android. They're free. So it all depends on the, the developer of the app. So in my case, I got it for free. But if you are an Android user, I believe it's $3.99. And it's worth the $3.99 because it does save you time. And it's only a one-time fee of um, $3.99. All right. So, all right. So you press the app and you press new. Now, just, just so you know, you can share this, this um, platform, whatever you make on this platform on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest. You can text it to someone. You can also email it to someone. So it makes it very, very, very convenient. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. So you press new. And since I just created an image, I'm going to say I want to start over, which is yes. So I'm going to pick where the uh, photos are and I'm going to pick a photo. Let's see. I'm going to pick something really simple, something orange. Let's see. I want some orange. I think I want to, oh no, I don't want that. Okay. Like a, maybe like a coral orange, maybe this orange. That'll work. Okay. So now it tells you, this is the, the text the text type that I used before for my last image. So actually I'm going to use it because it really pops. I like the colors and everything. So it's telling you to double tap me to change the text because I don't want it to say that. So I'm going to double tap it. And sometimes I might have to triple, quadruple tap it <laughs> in order for it to, to um, move into this screen so that I can um, put my personal touch to it. So I'm going to hold down, select all, and then I'm going to press paste. No, that's the one I did before. Okay. I don't want to do that one. I'm glad I did that because I'm going to show you where I keep my quotes. I collect my quotes and this is called Evernote. So Evernote is where I keep a lot of notes. I keep notes for work. As you can see, I keep notes from church. I keep notes, see, note from St. Paul's Community Baptist Church. I keep notes for, for um, my job as well. So you can um, create a whole lot of categories within Evernote. It's right here on your iPad, or you can access it on your phone. You can also access it on your computer. So it's pretty cool because whatever you type in here, you can access it later. You don't have to wait until you get home. So it's a very good app, but then they have a premium package. I use the free, but they do have a premium package. 
I don't know exactly what else you get with it because as of right now, this works for me. So from time to time, I'll just grab some um, quotes and then when I'm idle, sitting on the bus or waiting online in the grocery store, I can use this app to create my, um, my, my posts, my status updates, my posts. So if I put the, so having the content in here beforehand makes it a lot easier when I'm ready to post cause I don't have to be home. Okay. Hope that made sense. Okay. So I'm going to use happy people produce and bored people consume. All right. So I'm going to just hold it down. I'm going to select, I'm going to pull those, uh, those circles. Right. So then that just shows me exactly what it is. I want to copy, press the word copy. Now I'm going to, um, go into back into word swag. So it takes what I like about it, it takes me right back where I was before. So I'm going to press and hold paste. Voila. However, I noticed with this app, it, where it says say says who optional. I like, to put the person's name there. It just, the way it comes out, it just looks great. All right. So now what I'm trying, attempting to do, right, is to pull those circles. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to paste it down here. See, I, I, I don't like to do a whole bunch of typing and all that other stuff. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that. Cut and paste is my best friend. All right. So I have it saying exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'm going to press uh, save and close. It's going to, it's telling me that the characters and the styles don't support, but I'm going to do it anyway. See what it looks like. Cause I can always fix it. All right. So I like the little quote situation up there, but let's see what else. Let's, uh, hit these die. See the die on the right hand side on the bottom. And I'm just going to continue to hit them until I actually see something that really pops, right? So happy people produce, bored people consume. I like that. I love the black and white situation. I just want something that dresses the screen. And, and I like the big quote and the little quote. I think that's kind of cool, right? I think I'm, let's see, I'm just going to keep going. Until I see something that's like, yo, it just like hits me. All right. I'm just going to keep going. I might end up going back to something I saw before, but I don't want the little ones. And, but I definitely want something wide. That's kind of cool too. Happy people for this, but I want a little more black. In it. Just a little, just a little more black. Can we, can we hook it up where it's a little more black? All right. So I'm going to go back to one that I like. That's pretty cool. I like that too. But I like the lines. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop here. I'll go with this one. This works. Okay. So now I found one that I like. I'm going to press the word done on the top right hand corner. All right. So. It already it automatically saves to your camera roll, but I like that more feature because I can add a logo or a watermark to really put my stamp on it. All right. So I'm going to press that. And now it tells me that I can use the same image as last time, which is cool. Cause I always use the same watermark. So I don't have to go scrolling through looking for the same thing. I'm glad they added that. I love convenience. My husband will tell you, I love convenience. All right. So I'm going to use the same image. Voila. Bam. It just puts it in the right spot. The spot where I want it. I'm going to just put it up just a little bit. Ah, good. I'm happy. That's it. Because it's all about branding me. You know, I'm going to give Stephen Richards his, his props for coming up with the quote, but I'm giving myself um, I'm branding me because I'm the one that took the time to take the quote, put it on an, um, on an, on an image and share it. So I got to give myself a little credit too, so that, um, anybody looks at it, they can see my website at the bottom, williandaria.com. And who knows, they may come and visit me, you know? So whenever you do something online and you, and you're marketing 
uh, your business or product or service, you want to make sure you have a logo and make sure that you're pointing the logo uh, tells your prospects where they can find you, you know, because you just never know what people are looking for, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to press the check and we are ready to rock and roll and steer eerie oh all right so i'm going to post on instagram because posting on instagram allows me to also post on twitter and i'm going to post on facebook all right so i'm going to press the instagram button all right copy to instagram and it pops up just as nice it fits and you know i don't have to worry about you know doing anything because it auto automatically configures con configures it <laughs> for this platform all right so next press next um i'm going to just paste the same oh i forgot i did the same thing the last time all right so i'm going to go back to evernote and get my quote because like because like i told you i do not want to type all of that and i don't have to you know Cut and paste. I learned how to cut and play, paste on this thing, and whoo, they created a monster. As my grandmother used to say, a monster. All right, so now I'm going to um, paste. Also, I'm going to um, put my hashtag. The reason why I'm putting my hashtag is because I want, when with, with hashtags, all your content will be in that particular space. So if someone does a search for WD Leganier, they're going to see all the posts that I created using that hashtag. And then that's another way of branding you. And when you, you never know, you're posting different types of things. You're posting quotes, you're posting your products, your services, something cool you learned, something, you know, that you find valuable that you want to share. So all of that will be compiled in, let's say a file or a folder on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter and if anyone does clicks anybody clicks on your hashtag then they will find all your content pretty cool right so also I like to um, target other people network marketing um, home business you know those types of people okay I want to also have my stuff along with that even all the um, thousands of people are posting with those same hashtags, but you never know people scrolling through, they may see something that I didn't like it. Okay. So I'm going to press. Okay. I can tag people. If I want, I'll show you how I can tag somebody. I'm going to tag the photo. All right. And I'm going to tag my husband. So I'm going to look for my husband. Really? Oh, there he is. Right. So I just tagged them. And you can tag as many people as you want, but you want to tag people that don't mind being tagged. All right. So after I did that, I tagged my person. Now I'm going to also post this. I want this to post. It's going to post at the same time. So I want it on Facebook and I want it on Twitter as well. And then I press the share button. Boom. It's right there. Okay. And then if I want... I can add some other um, tags if I want. If I want to um, put anyone else that I am at the moment targeting. Okay, you don't want to put a whole bunch of um, tags because then it looks very spammy. And you can put anywhere from, I think, 20 to 15 to 20 tags, maybe even 30 tags before Instagram says, hey, you, you're going to, you're going, uh, I'm not tags, hashtags, um, before you go in hashtag happy and then they put you in what's called Instagram jail. So you don't want to go in Instagram jail. You just want to be able, you want to stay under the radar and still get your content out and um, that's it and then if you go to Facebook you should see it let's see let's see how fast it gets there you should see this the same exact post on my um, oh look how pretty 
Okay, and there it is. And I just did it on Instagram, but it's on Facebook. And if I go to Twitter, you'll see it on Twitter. So I hope you got value from this training. If you want to know more about how you can grow your business online, you can go to willyanddaria.com. Also there, you can subscribe to our email list and we send out emails pretty regularly and we inform you of new strategies and tactics that you can use to, to grow your business. And also we inform you of private webinars that we attend to where we get a lot of our information from. So if you subscribe to our newsletter, you'll have, you'll be privy to that information and you can jump on the industry wide webinars along with us. So without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.